Welcome to Ashley Marie. Today I'm teaching you guys how to make your own vanilla sugar. Let's get started. So why vanilla sugar? Well, in Europe and other countries, they actually don't have a lot of access to vanilla extract, or at least they didn't. And so what they used was vanilla sugar, taking vanilla beans and infusing it with sugar. Uh, personally, I still use it, even though I have access to vanilla extract, because um, I really love the way that it tastes. I really love the end result. You can see how beautiful that is with all the flecks of the vanilla beans within the sugar. And just like making your own homemade vanilla, the longer you let it sit, the better the flavor gets. So I actually keep uh, about four cups of this on hand at all times because I never know what I'm gonna wanna make a recipe with. So what do you use vanilla sugar in? Uh, uh, my kids love it on top of toast. I love it on top of creme brulees and scones and other more delicate baked goods. In fact, my sugar cookie recipe, not the rolled out kind, the other kind of sugar cookie recipe, I like to roll in vanilla sugar rather than just sugar. It just really elevates it, I feel like. And some people I've heard really love it in their coffee. All right, how do you make vanilla sugar? You take sugar and put it in a food processor then you take some vanilla beans, you slice them open and scrape it out and take those beans and just put them inside that sugar. I'm also gonna put the pot in there. So these vanilla beans are actually ones that I, uh, that I use to make homemade vanilla. And so these are getting like their second life, their second repurpose. So after they've soaked, they are ready to be reused. So you open it up, you scrape it out. Look at how beautiful all those beans are. Ah, mm. For every cup of sugar, I do about uh, two beans. It kind of depends on how long you have. If you're trying to use this immediately, go more beans, you'll get a stronger flavor. If you have time, <laughs> man, I cut it and I can't find the cut, there it is. If you have time to let it sit, then, uh, then you can get away with a little bit less. Uh, if you're going to let it sit with the pods in it, you're gonna get a stronger flavor as well. But if again, if you're using it right away, then you're gonna pull out the pods pretty fast. And so your flavor, again, will be, need to be flavored by more beans. Then you wanna turn your food processor on and just let it go to town. And we're done. Mm, it smells so good. Now, if you're gonna be able to leave this for a while, I would leave all the little bits and pieces of pods in the sugar. It's gonna help develop that flavor a lot better. But if you need to use it right away, or when you do use it, don't forget to take something that you can pour the sugar through and get rid of all those pieces of pods because you don't want that in your final dessert. So anyway, oh, smells so good. I hope you guys give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my kitchen tips or recipes. And if there's something you really have a question about or a recipe you really wanna try or a cake you really wanna see, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.